Hey everybody, happy Thursday. This is the All About Favorite channel. I am your host, Pastor KZ. Thank you all for watching. To all of my current subscribers, thank you for your continued support. And those of you who are watching might be your first time or you might be repeating just watching the videos. Please take a moment and subscribe to the channel. And also, after the video, everybody, please hit the thumbs up button, like the video, share it with other people, and comment, 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 comment on the video. I also have a website, walkinfavor61.org. Go there and check out my website, please. And also, I have an email address, and it is walkinfavor61 at yahoo.com. And that is walk. W-A-L-K with the letter N instead of I-N is walk letter N favor 61 at yahoo.com. Hit me, hit me up with an email. Send me some emails, y'all. I like reading them. Who knows? Your email might make one of the shows one day. Let's get into it today. I got some food for thought for you on this Tell the Truth Thursday. Last week, the question arose with one of my viewers asked, Pastor Casey, have you ever just take a t taken the time to just ask people why they want to tell the truth that particular day? Well, I just want to bring something to you right now. In telling the truth, sometimes you hold secrets for so long about situations that have occurred to you. Now, I'm going to speak mainly to those of you who uh, have been writing me these truths about being, I'll, I'll just go ahead and use it today, sexually abused or molested. And I have gotten just as many emails from males as females. Y'all, do y'all realize it's so many men have been molested as little boys? It has messed them up, y'all. It has messed them up. And they hold these secrets for years and years. Some of them um, have difficulties in relationships uh, with women, just like females do, just like we as women, they have situations that have occurred to them in their youth that it is now affecting them in their adulthood as men. That's why some of them are, are cheaters, some of them are woman beaters, just some of them lead alternative lifestyles. A lot of this has to do with some of the things these men have experienced. You know, it's so many men have dealt with trauma. And I'm speaking to my brothers today who've been writing me these tell the truth letters. Brothers, we love y'all. And, and, and we just want to be here for you. We're not judging you, brothers. We want to embrace you as our kings. We want to embrace you for the men that you already are. And sometimes we as women, we might get a little tough on you. And we don't understand the story behind the story. But one thing, men, you must understand, and with all of these tell the truths that you all are doing, in particular, I, I've gotten several emails. And as I said, I really, I got to pray over these, these emails that I've been receiving because some of them, it unpacks so much until it's draining to me. But I will say this. I must say this to some of the recent emails that I've received from Tell the Truth Thursdays, especially some things that happen over the Thanksgiving and Christmas holidays. I'm just flooded with those emails, but doesn't seem to be anything positive coming from the telling of that truth. And part of why I started this Tell the Truth Thursday is to encourage you all to go to therapy, to get counseling. Brothers, counseling with your pastor. Some of you say you're not going to your pastor with nothing because whatever reason we won't go into. There's professional counseling. Most of you have health insurance and your health insurance will cover mental health counseling. And just because you're going to a therapist, that does not mean that you are a weak individual. And it does not mean you don't believe in God or you don't trust God or whatever your higher power you choose to call it. I know some of you are on the kick. You don't like to use his name God, you believe in Buddha, you believe in, you know, Islam, whatever your belief system is, you are still welcome here on this channel because we all are here to help each other. 
And, and I always tell people that says, well, I don't talk to people of other faiths. Well, then something's wrong with your faith because we're all about love. That's what your faith is. Your Whatever your spiritual walk is should be about love, empowering people, and encouraging people to have a better quality of life. But you brothers, I need to say this to you. Some of you out there putting your hands on women. I've read the le the emails that you sent. That does not justify you beating up on a woman simply because you were traumatized as a child. Now, you can't use that excuse you're a child anymore. You are an adult and you can go and get counseling and therapy because you're beating up on some woman because you messed up on the inside. That is unacceptable behavior, no matter who is doing it. Yes, some females like to fight too. So I'm speaking to you too. Just because you messed up in the head, don't you go and mess with somebody else like that. They always use the expression, hurt people, hurt people. They're just some people miserable with their life and they just make it their job to make your life miserable. But I am telling somebody today, on this Tell the Truth Thursday, Maybe you need to tell that person the truth. And that truth is you got to let them know you have hurt me. You have hurt me. And you were foul in the way you did that. It doesn't matter what the situation is. It does not require a person to speak to you any kind of way or a person to beat on you or to mash on you any kind of way. I don't care how angry a person is. That is no reason for them to put their hands on you. And not only that, in telling the truth, some people don't want to hear the truth and they want to revert course and turn everything back around on you. You know why those people are doing that? Because they got issues themselves and they don't want to look at their, their part of the story. See, some people, it's easy for you to point fingers at and bash them and down them and critique them. But wait until the tables are turned and that person starts speaking back to you and speaking a truth to you that you may not want to hear. So what I'm saying on this Tell the Truth Thursday, when telling the truth, you better be prepared to hear the truth. Mm, that was profound right there. When telling the truth, be prepared to hear the truth. Because you know what? Some of us have fallen short as well. Some of us got our own junk and have done things, but you want to tell your truth to someone, but are you ready to hear a truth coming back to you? You know what the old expressions say, you can dish it out, but you can't take it. Some people have spent their whole life doing nothing but dish and dish and dish. And you know how they do it? They're by being petty, by being trifling, by being messy. And then you asking yourself, what is this really about? Again, it goes back to what I asked you the other day. Should this person even be in my circle? Well, Pastor K, you can't kick your family out your circle. You can't kick them out of your, you can kick them out of your events that you have and different things like that. No, you can never kick them out from being a family member of yours. But now they might just move into the relative category. I ain't getting no help because nobody looking, everybody looking at me side eye right now. Yeah, there are some people who share your DNA and your same bloodline who are not family. They are relatives food for thought on that. Think about that. Let that sit with your spirit for a minute. Because you know what? There's some people who is not even in your bloodline treat you just like your family. They love on you. They support you. They have a level of communication with you. What does that mean? That means they pick up the phone to check on you. That means they are concerned about you. You have people you share DNA with. Don't pick up the phone from one year to the next. Or from one funeral to the next. You don't see them or hear from them. Or from the family, union last, family reunion last year to this year family reunion. You haven't seen or heard that person and you live less than 15 minutes away from them. Mm. Pastor K., that sounds harsh. That's the truth, though. Are you ready to hear the truth? 
See, that's the thing. I said you want to tell the truth, but do you want to hear the truth? Some of you are guilty and you got things that you're doing or have done that you have put on the back burner, forgot about or say, oh, that was years ago. Oh, you're going to hold me for something that happened years ago? Oh, you still walking around with that in your heart? Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? That's why truths come out the wrong way. And truths come out sometimes. Have y'all thought about this? Truths come out disguised as something else. Oh, boy. You ever had someone say something and you're like, what? Well, where did that come from? And you know this is so petty and minor and this was in your heart? No, no. But you got to understand where that's coming from. See, you got to let your spirit of discernment inside you hold your tongue and say, wait, that's not what this is even about. This probably ain't even about me. Maybe this is about them. Some truth is really not about you. Some truths is about them, and it's disguised. Y'all feel me on that? Yeah, disguised truth. And then there's some people who are miserable. They're never going to be happy. They were miserable. You ever seen little some kids, and they're like miserable little children? And think about some of your classmates in school, all the way from elementary school, junior high, high school, and you're like, that person has always been miserable. They always look for the worst in people. They're always talking about people. They got a jealous spirit about them. They, they just, they're just messy. And they've been like that since we was in third grade. And then they were like that when we were in sixth grade. And when we were in 10th grade. And when we graduated, they were the same person. And then you see them at your 20-year class reunion. And it's like... They still that miserable person. And you know what? You can't change that. You just got to say, hey, how y'all doing? Or what's up? And keep it pushing. So I'm saying to you on this Tell the Truth Thursday, every truth that's being told, understand sometimes the truth really is not about you. You know how some people say, oh, we need to talk. And you're like, okay, whenever somebody say that to you, that's that's cold worry for, okay, it's finna be some mess right now. Now you got your defense up right away because now you finna hear something that is, it's not going to be a positive result depending on how it is presented to you. You know how people throw off or people hint around or something like that when you know in your spirit that ain't even what this is about. You trying to deflect and you trying to not take accountability for your part or your mess or your messy life. And now you're trying to throw something petty off on me. Get it together, brothers and sisters. When you telling the truth, you better be prepared that that person that you trying to go off on or that person you trying to shade, be prepared that you might catch that person on the wrong day. And guess what? They may tell you a truth that you don't want to hear because the truth does hurt and it stings and the truth it cuts both ways so when you're telling the truth be prepared to hear the truth please like the video share the video comment on the video and just please those of you who are watching please consider subscribing if you haven't already listen have a wonderful day and always remember it's our right to walk in truth but what is not all right is to try to tell the truth just to hurt somebody. Don't tell the truth in anger. You know, you've got to understand, ain't being angry and yelling and screaming or, or trying to embarrass somebody or humiliate somebody, that's not what Telling the Truth Thursday episodes are about. I want you to tell the truth to release yourself to be free and you don't have to tell the truth to someone in a hurtful manner and you don't have to share your story in walking in bitterness i want i'm trying to get you to purge yourself of all of that that's what this is about to be at peace to live at peace to have a level of joy so don't be out there trying to hurt people because you are hurting
Don't be out there trying to shade people and bash on people simply because you are a miserable human being and your, the quality of your life hasn't been good and you have disappointed yourself because you don't like how your life is going or how your life has turned out and you're just not a happy person. Don't go out there and try to do that to hurt somebody else. Sometimes telling the truth means you need to work on yourself and that's the truth. Have a wonderful Thursday, and I will see you back for Food for Thought tomorrow.